please come and join me in unboxing the brand new Reximex Lyra. I'm going to go through absolutely every feature this rifle has to offer, so we're going to get into that now. Right, so let's take a look inside the box. Pretty simple packaging. To be fair, I don't mind that. Simple is better. Let's get that out of the way. So in the box, you got one rifle, of course. Let's just pop that down there for a moment. We'll get to that in a second. And we've got some accessories in here. We get one, two multi-shot magazines. Now in 177, these will be a 14 round mag. And in 2.2, there'll be a 12 round mag. Series of Allen keys spilling out here. Figure out well, what they do soon. Single shot tray. Couple of spare seals. Fill probe. And a Picatinny adapter for the forend. You also get a chronograph report done by the supplier. And with the Rexamexes and the Krells, they are always set really well. So as you can see here, we've got roughly 11.5 foot pounds. That will have been done with uh, most likely an RWS Superfield. Instruction book. Some uh, data cards. And a complimentary target. So, let's start with the lens. That's coming in at 42 inches or 107 centimetres. The rifle weighs 3.5 kilos, so roughly 7 pounds. Now, with a lot of these Turkish guns, Rectamex is no exception, you get a very nice walnut stock. And for the price of £399, I think you're getting a lot of gun for your money. So let's take a closer look. So let's take a closer look at some of the features that you get with the Rectamex Lyra. As you can see, on the side we have a pressure gauge, no regulator gauge, as this gun is not regulated. As I've mentioned before, you get this beautiful Turkish walnut stock. Uh, we have a power adjuster here, uh, which I will test on the range and see um, how much difference that makes. Usually with these uh, rifles that come from Turkey, they're generally set at a power that we're not allowed. And if you buy them in a firearm, uh, or what you'd know as FAC, um, the power adjuster makes a fairly big difference. In my experience, with the Krells, it normally makes about a pound, a pound and a half difference. So we'll test it out. And and take a look anyway. Uh, you also get a biathlon style side lever. Um, most manufacturers are going that way now. I think they work a lot more smoothly than a bolt. Uh, safety catch is here underneath um, underneath the stock in front of the trigger. Uh, it looks like we have adjustment on the trigger to move to move the trigger position as well if you want to go right or left and I can't quite see whether we can adjust that. Um, it doesn't look like you can adjust it with the stock on anyway, as in, as in the trigger pull. So we'll, we'll double check that. Threaded for a half inch UNF silencer, as normal on pretty much every um, PCP rifle. And I like what these are doing now. Well, when I say these, I mean a lot of manufacturers is they're fitting them with just a straightforward foster fitting. Uh, it makes it so much easier for everybody to just have one, one type of fitting. 
Um, I fill lots of different guns here in the shop, so I have a quick, um, a quick adapter uh, to move between different probes. Um, I wouldn't need to do that if everything was a Foster Fit fit, so um, I'd like to see that. I mean, there's loads of manufacturers doing it now. And you've got your Reximex, uh, FX, uh, just a straightforward Foster Fitting. Um, struggling to think of any others right now, but there are a few more. Um, what else have we got on here? We got a Weaver rail on the top or Picatinny rail on the top, whichever you want to say. And um, you've got a, a stud there already put in for you for your bipod. If you have a um, Weaver attachment or Picatinny attachment for your bipod, um, we can fit the little Weaver rail that it came with into there. Um, or you can get an adapter to go onto that stud, which makes it a Weaver. Anyway, um, yeah, nice looking rifle. And I think for £399, you're getting an awful lot for your money. Um, there's a lot there. If this shoots straight, it's a bargain. Um, and also, I must mention that in the link in the description below takes you to our reviewed products page on the website. So any product that I review from now on will go into that reviewed products page. So you will get it cheaper. And this one, for example, retails at 399. Once I finish this review, it will be going on the website at 350. So it's uh, something you want to keep an eye out on because you're going to get basically brand new guns and brand new products at a bit less. So um, click the link in the description to take a look. Um, right, what else can we can we say about this rifle? Uh, a bit about the company. Um, they are made in Turkey. There's so much good stuff coming out of Turkey now. Uh, Rexamex and Kral are actually, uh, I believe, the same company. It's under their umbrella of Kral and um, the Rexamex are meant to be the sort of league above Kral. I'm not sure I can say that particularly because Kral's are awesome. Um, the majority of the Kral's really you can't fault. Um, just one other thing I've noticed there, you get a stud at the back so you can put a sling on. In fact, that makes sense now. So they're, they're wanting you to put a sling on and then they're wanting you to use this bit for your uh, weaver rail for your bipod. Um, now, I know people commented before saying, why don't you research things before you do your reviews? Well, I like to be a bit more authentic and just sort of learn the gun as I go along. I've been doing this for a very, very long time. So if there's something I miss and you can see it, please tell me because I can come a bit complacent maybe. However, like I say, I've been doing this for long enough to sort of not have to sit and research something for hours on end before I pick it up and figure it out for myself. So uh, let's pop a scope on. We'll just test it at 10 meters. The reason I'm testing it at 10 meters, and uh, again, a lot of you have said in the comments, why are you using 10 meters? Stop embarrassing yourself. Well, I don't have a bigger range than 10 meters. It's as simple as that. Um, all the filming I do is done in shop hours. So I can't be out in fields all the time. Unfortunately, I would much prefer to be out testing at uh, further distances, but 10 meters is what I've got. So that's what you're gonna get. Um, I will be doing videos um, other than in the shop, but for now, let's get a scope on this. We'll see how she groups on the range, and um, then we will test the power adjuster on the chronograph. So we're about to zero it in, but first I'm going to show you how to load the magazine. So what you're going to want to do is follow this arrow, turn the top cover all the way around clockwise until it stops. Now, put your finger at the back of the open hole there and drop your first pellet in. Once you've done that, you can let, do, let go of the top cover as this is now moving freely and you can just work your way around loading them in. Now, 
Now you'll know you've done it correctly if it reads 14 in this window here. If it reads 12, that is a 2-2, 14 and 177. If it reads zero, then you've done it wrong and you're gonna to have to go around and empty them all out and start again. And you want it to look like that. So um, that is how you load a Rexamex magazine. Right, so I've zeroed in, and what I'm going to do now is change the target and then fire the final seven pellets into the same place and see how they group. So let's do that now. Not really sure what happened with the first one. Um, there's only a couple of things I can think of. Uh, one, it was my fault, and um, I've been running about a bit between clips, so possibly that I uh, I was shaking. Uh, the second is maybe there was a defective pellet that I put through. Um, as you can see, the other six grouped really quite nicely. So we'll put that down to user error. Let's blame me. Um, but yeah, I think that's. I think that's pretty decent. To say that's shooting off a rest, um, stood up, I think that's I think it's pretty decent to uh, to be fair. And I was using RWS R10 match. So this is with the power on full. This is with the power adjuster on the first notch. This is with the power adjuster on the second notch down, which is about halfway. And now the third. And finally, all the way to the bottom. The power adjuster actually made a lot more difference than I was expecting. It used to be that they'd make about a pound from start to finish, as in the highest to the lowest. It didn't make too much difference on the higher, higher half, if you like. Uh, on the second half, made a bit more difference, so we got down to six foot pounds. And then obviously it dropped all the way down to two foot pounds. Now you must remember that the pellets that I was using were seven grains. Now this has likely been set up with something around 8.4 grains. And you also need to remember that pellet weight does dictate how powerful a rifle can be. So if you were to put something like a Bisley Magnum through it, which I think at around 10.4 grain, you'd see this, I reckon, doing about 11.8 foot pounds. Manufacturers have to set them at a sensible power because pellet weight does make such a drastic variation. Now, would I buy this? Yes, in simple simple terms. Uh, the price is right, the build quality is great, it looks fantastic and it's accurate. What more could you ask for? So put it on your Christmas list because for less than 400 quid you cannot go wrong. It just looks great and it works great and they haven't cheaped out on anything. I mean, you know, side levers, even the safety catch, there's, there's cheaper ways of doing this. So well done to Rexamex for a fantastic product. And like I said before, if you click the link in the description below, you'll see this model cheaper. 
because I've reviewed it. So if you want to get your hands on it, and bear in mind I've only got one, you better be quick, so send me a message. That's all from me today. If you've got this far in the video and you haven't hit the like button, I'm assuming you've liked what you've seen. Either that or you've taken the mick out of me. Either way, hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. See you soon.